Yes, another day, another wonderful day that the Lord has made. We are here today to host a man of God, the general, Papa Mwenyewe. Before that, Papa, today, just pray for us before we start. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for this moment and this occasion. Father, we request the Holy Spirit to take charge from the beginning and the end. Whatever we are going to discuss, Lord, be thou glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, guys, today our topic is about the street boys. And why, why should people go to street? And how can they be helped? We are here at West Bow Life Mwenyewe, Karibu Man of God. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Uh, so you can tell your, uh, our viewers who you are, the ministry, if you're married, Pope Mwenyewe Baba. <laughs> I'm so happy to host you because uh, this is a friend, uh, he's a, a, a father figure to us in the ministry. So, Karibu. Thank you so much, uh, my friend, my brother, yes. uh, Paul Jagol. Yes. It has been long, I've missed you so much. Oh, yeah. And I am glad you're someone we have been together with so many days, so many times yes. on pulpit. Yes. Now, <clears throat> my name is Reverend Joja Nyul. Yeah, Joja Nyul is just a, a simple man. I come from Kanukabonyo. Uh, I'm born again. I'm a family man. Mm -hmm. I reside here in Kisumu. And this is where I do the work of God. Yes, yes man of God. So today we have a man from Kanyag Kanyagwal. <laughs> Kanyagwal. Kanyagwal. <laughs> where when the rain, the flood, the, the effect of flood can be realized. So, Bow Life, not so many people know you like Bow Life. Exactly. Please just wave to your guys, wave to them before we start. Yes, yes, Bow Life is here. Yeah. And today you will get Bow, really Bow. You know, we have these guys in street, the street boys. Why should people go to the street and what caused this problem? Oh, uh, I'm so happy, man of God, to give me this platform. And it can take a quite a, it can take a whole time to explain or a whole day. And I just want to minimize and be brief yeah. and give the, the highlights. It is something I have experienced since the, the pandemic. And to my surprise or to my knowledge, out the street there, some street kids are there uh, because of circumstance. Some are there by choice, yes. But majority have encountered, uh, encountered and meet. You, if you hear their story, they had no otherwise but to run to the street. And I've experienced this for the last nine months or so. Because I've met them one on one here in Kisumu at Oile Park. And I've, I know most of them, I hold their story. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you, you mean these people, maybe they break from the breakout of marriage and maybe they, they are total orphans? Or what the cause? Oh, it is caused by the, most of them are orphans. Like the mother died of HIPV and the father died. So the uncles who are left behind to take care of them became their enemies. So the kids, uh, they just saw the solution is to go out to the street. Like the, the recent case I had was a, a young guy. He told me, man of God, I want to go back to ho our home. My father died, my mother died. And I only came here on the street because the, the bigger brother who was to take care of me is a drunkard. He's always beating me. When he's drunk, Mimi Liana Nitoanga. So Mimi Liana Nikahepa, I just went, left home. And I came here to get shelter. So he was asking me, if you can take me home and sit my brother down, I just want to stay home, but I can't. My brother is drunkard. Now, anytime Akitoka Kukunya Pombe, that is the only reason why he's on the street. Nothing more. So the father and the mother died. So you see such cases. So like the majority are in which age? The category of the age? The majority are in from 5 years to 15 years. Imagine. 5 to 15 years. 5 to 15 years. years. These people are still in teenage. Teenage, yeah. They are still young. They should be in school. 
Definitely. Now, I've been seeing you in Wahile Market, and viewers, you will see that clip when you are helping them every, every weekend, like every Saturday, you are giving them food. Where do you get the support? Now, I thank God, uh, because I told you uh, in the beginning that I'm a family man. I'm married to a beautiful wife, Judith Anyol. She's so supportive. Uh, she's a wife and a... Okay. When the COVID-19 broke out, you know the, situ the story, everything. Uh, around early March, uh, we saw, we were watching news. And, you know, everything became standstill. There was no... Okay, ya nini. There was no hotel. Things were closed. You know, and you know these three boys, wanakula kwa people. Unajua, they, they eat leftovers. So when we were watching news, they, they highlighted how they are stranded. They don't, have, they don't have anywhere to go. Nothing to eat. So I seated my wife down, and we discussed. I told my wife, we don't have anything yet, but we can thank God our family is here. We can get at least something on the table. What about them? Can we just even make a porridge with the little money I have so that we go and serve them? At least God will take care of the rest. So that is how I came with the vision and the idea. And when I discussed with Judith, she was so much into she she also felt it, you know. I said, okay. And by that time I can remember I had something like one thousand. And I, I went to the market and buy some beans and what. And we cooked in our house, packed the food, and went to the oil park. And I called the boys. I said, boys, something small is here. You can say, and at least for the today, can keep you for the today. That is how it started. So I started at that level. Then my friends, our live friends, yeah. the Pope and your friend, yeah. the followers, yes. they are so wonderful. When they saw me of what I'm doing, they were so tired. They said, man of God, do not stop. We want you to go again and again and again and again. So imagine, man of God, from April, from April, early April, to date. And the support I'm getting is from friends. I can say they are, they are, they are my sponsors. Mm -hmm. They are my motivators. They have, they have pushed me so much. Okay. Yes. So, Mama Judy, thank you so much for your support. In fact, they're always saying successful man has got somebody behind. So, Mama Judy is the, the strength behind Bao Life. And also, Pope, George and your friends, Bao Life friends, thank you so much for coming out to support the street boys. So, from April to date, have you seen a change since you started supporting the street boys? My friend, I was shocked. Do you know what? When we started, when I started to feed these kids, we were like strangers, and I we were we could have just we could have just go and we give them food, then we leave. So the more this thing went on, we became close and we became friends. What do I mean? Some of them came to me, even after or before the feeding, saying, "Man, or oh, pastor." Oh, they tell me their problems, what they want, how they feel. I have encountered their real situation. In fact, I have seen change. The biggest change I saw, and that shocked me, was I think like two months back. There was a day I took, we took food, like, you know, before I, before I give them food, I always do some, I pray for them. I read some verse, I encourage them. That day, after giving them food, they came to me, almost five boys, said, Pastor, you have been helping us. We also want to come to church. Mm -hmm. We feel like, can, we, can you allow us to come? Say, why, yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, when uh, some of my friends, they have supported me with clothes. Mm -hmm. So that day, I gave them clothes. They said, okay, we'll have to pay nguo. Mimi nitaoga vizuri. I gave them a direction to the church where I pray. Mm -hmm. And to my surprise, man of God, they came, almost eight of them, street kids, dressed neatly, without gum. Now, they say, Pastor, pray for us too. We are also human beings. 
watu ndio wanatudharau hakuna wenye anataka but at least i was so shocked i didn't even request them they just request the fact when i gave them direction to church they even didn't have i i said ah wanaongea tu hawatakuja they came to church we service together and wakarudi tena wakarudi tena so out of them from there many of them like i have almost now i have almost 10 in the church 10 yeah i know they are coming five but i have 10 who told me that they want to go back to school i have five who told me pastor if you can get something we sell on the street like njugu we walk or whatever business we can do we want to help ourselves we want to help our future so i have seen a very big change and getting close to them i have realized that these street boys not all of them are wicked not all of them are there because they want to be there and i have really seen change in them so not all street boys are thief no, no, no. not all of them are in drugs no, no, no. now that is the gospel that god was talking about jesus when jesus was in the earth practical gospel because now these people need spiritual nourishment they need clothes they need food they need shelter yes. and now as you are going with them do you see a future because now you started with the food it has come to the church now they are in church some now have the idea of going to school and i'm very sure some will ask you where to sleep how do you see this your program in time to come now amen now let this is where i need my friends because i have no sponsor man of god i don't i, I don't have anybody who is backing me i don't have a authority of something it is just favor now the person you have you have asked me is why i need my friends so much now because you know these kids they know where i'm chatting and they know where i stay Do you know if I miss not to go to Oile Park to give them food they come to church they come to church if they don't get me to church they come to my house they are very sure they will get me uh, so my my intention around my my spirit I've been praying for them because if at least I can get even ten to change them how do I change them If you get a street kid who is 8 years old, 12 years old and he say to you man of god all i need i want to go to school you know that is something so wonderful man of god all i need is i need kabiasara nataka nijitegemee so what i want to do or what i'm praying because the school are soon opening like the cs announced if my friends can help me bao life friends my online followers if i can get anybody or oh, inside here or in our county or abroad who will volunteer to help me take the ones who want to go to school to school because if i get even five who are willing to go to school the truth is i must look for them uniforms things like vitabu and i must look for them a shelter because i can't stay with them or an orphanage which may be sometimes difficult the best way is that the shelter i rent them a house i give them utensils they will cook themselves they go to school they will now be my burden and i will supervise the one who needs to do biasara in fact not only that there was a, i have uh, i have there are two of them whom i have given money they they are doing business yeah wanauza mayai hii waliniambia pastor you will not feed that like this we we are grown ups those are 21 they even some of them even i have ideas so they came to church they came to my place said what do you want? i need i need something to to i gave some two of them they are doing they are they are doing good they are doing business you know this is a good program because uh, these street boys everybody if you see them in street the only thing come to your mind they are thieves they are 
in drugs. Now, because you have started it a very small way, uh, we even approach the government, the county, county government, because now we have the programs where they support those who are in need of school fees. Have you even talked to any government officer about these kids? Mm, I have tried, but all in vain. Paul, I'm telling you, no one cares about the street kids. These guys, they, it's like they don't exist, they don't have right. You know, the thing, okay, let me tell you, I really got a nasty experience. Like, when, we, when I started to feed the, 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 the street homeless children, we started to feed like 30 of them. So the number grew to 50. Right now, I'm feeding 130. And even right now, if you go to with you at Oele Park now and they see me, they will come in. Hmm? Watakuja kama, watakuja to Director. Director. Di is, now you are their director. You are their sponsor. Now, if they see me, if I don't have money, then I'm in trouble. I have to give them something to eat. Now, there was one day, it is not about food, uh, feeding or fooding or what. There was one day I found one who was so sick. I will tell you, I have the clip, the video is there. Paul, when I brought food, they told me, Pastor, we can't eat. One of us is so sick. When I went there, I found somebody who is about to die, was severing. The guy started to feel a week on Thursday, and then I feed them on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So when I go, when, when I meet, when I encountered this problem, he could not even breathe, he could not even breathe, and he was out of his memory. So I took the guy, I know I don't know him, he's, a, he's like 21 years old. Then I said, okay, what do I do first? Let me go to government hospital because I don't know his background. Do you know what? They didn't care. By that time, no. I went to, I went to Star Store. If I can, uh, the video is there. When I went to Star Store with the tuk-tuk, with the friends, he said, no, we can't handle this case. Can you take him to Russia? When I went there, the watchman didn't, didn't allow us. When Walipona ni street poor. Because they were asking question, who will stand for him? Who will do this and this? I said, I'm here. No, 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 no. So I took the boy back then to the park without anything, no medication. So when I came back to the house, my wife asked me, How has it, have you found a solution to the boy? Was I said, no. I took him back to the park because the government were not able to admit him or do anything. So the man was severing. So my wife told me, you have to look another solution. Go and take that boy to look at look for private. Nikarudi tena kwa park. Nikachukua tuk-tuk. Then by God's grace, I got a, a private clinic. Admitted the boy. When I admitted the boy, the man said, oh, the doctor said, the doctor acted so fast. He did not question things like, who is this? I said, just, just treat this boy. Just save his life. So the doctor gave him oh, a proper attention. And he was found with malaria, almost three plus. Typhoid. And the doctor said that if it could have been late for even two hours, he could, have been, he could have died. So he was treated, you know, given injection and things like that. Then he gained his memory, everything. And he was okay. He's still there up to now. Thank God. So guys, people are rejecting the street boys, even the hospitals, when they are sick. Please, we are not doing it because we love. Some people are supporting because it's from the heart. You cannot see a human being dying that because he's a chokora, you don't want to help him. That's what bad. So guys, we'll be back. It's so painful for that story. Let's take a break that somebody's being rejected, not treated because he's a chokora. Aye, so serious. We'll be back. Thank you so much.
Eh buka hivi. Eh okay, 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 silent, silent la kula mabefa. Haya, silent. Now, before I pray for you, I want to read a Bible. Yes, guys, welcome back again. We were in a serious topic: why people are rejecting the street boys. But life. Uh, when you are in town, maybe walking around, going to job, coming out from job, you will see these guys, the street boys, they are requesting, please help me the 20 ball what I want to go and get something to eat. But in real sense, they are going to buy the, the drugs. Now can you advise somebody, how can somebody help a street boy instead of giving money? That is uh, exactly, uh, I want to make it very clear. Giving a street boy, giving a street boy money, 10 bob, 20 bob, is not helpful, helpful. In fact, those guys, they are so addicted to, I don't know, the gum, this thing they are, they are, they are taking, they are chewing gum. And whenever you give them money, a street boy is so much into these drugs, that they can even go hungry and they don't lack that drug. So one day, because me also I used to do that, they have been my guys since they know me as pastor. They have been passing their pastor, I give that and I give the 50 bob, 20 bob, but I saw it is not helpful. I thought I want you to tell these guys when you move the camera, tell them how you should help because it's not useful. You can use this, the, the first camera. Good. If you want to help a street guy, a street kid, mm. you feel like helping a street boy, please do not give them money. That 20 bob can buy a mandazi, can buy a uji. If the child is hungry, if the, the kid is hungry, and there are hawkers who are hawking mandazi or anything, go and pay that 20 bob, Tell that hawker to give him or her a cup of uji and a mandazi. And if you are near supermarket, that 50 bob can buy a bread. Please buy a bread and give them. Because they always go hungry. They buy those drugs until they forget to eat. So their system becomes so weak. So my advice is that if, if you feel like giving a street boy something like money, Please, Aki Kwambia Anaskia Nya, buy for him something, milk, anything, and you will help him a lot. And if it is good, let him or her eat at your presence. Because sometimes you give them milk and they go and sell again. <laughs> Imagine you bought a milk of 50 bob and, and, and a house of 20 bob, a pate here in Nigam. They there are some, there are many who came to me, Pastor, who met us idea sana. Do you know, she said, tuna, 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 lakini chakula yako, umetupea nguvu. So, if you want to help those guys, please, give him the money. No, 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 it's a big no. If you have to give the money, then, please, don't. Amen. You can even buy the cloth. That is it. Can you buy for them the blanket? Yes. That is it. Because I, 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 I saw some, I was from Nairobi, and I saw some near the hill, they're just sleeping on that floor. Now, I want to thank some of my friends, some of my friends, in fact, some friends are God sent. There are some friends who saw me doing the program, and they said, man of God, I want to be part of it by donating clothes. Do you know these clothes, they even came, there was last week, I have the clips and the video. Someone put for them jumpers and sweaters at this cold season. And I gave them. And they were so thankful. I said, Pastor, we will sleep well. They don't have something to, like blanket. They have, they have no clothes. Mm -hmm. And imagine they are just sleeping there and it is raining. Mm -hmm. Just look at this situation. And condition. So if you feel touched and like help you, you can even buy them clothes. You just buy a clothes and put all, so you, are, you will be doing your part. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even the ones you are kids are not using, the ones you don't use, you can support. Exactly, man of God. At Hapo Kwak, even at your house, you have clothes. You have the, the kids, your kids are not using the shoes. If we connect, you can give me, we give them. That will be awesome. As you finish, we give the, the number of my life and the Gmail. And now, have you even approached any orphanage? Because it's like we're doing rehabilitation to these kids, the ones that want to go back to school. Have you even think of having a link with an orphanage, those who are dealing with the street boys? Now, I have tried, but you know, there was there's, there's this orphanage uh, I, I wanted to approach. Uh, someone connected me and sent me there mm. to go and talk to them, and I was willing to go. And to my surprise, the orphanage was closed because of COVID-19. Things went flat and the street boy scattered. So you imagine I wanted to take up and <laughs> you he found the orphanage closed. <laughs> now we are, we are again remaining with them. Yeah, it's a challenge. Uh, and we have the interfell. I think we, we will connect also. Interfell are also dealing with the city by no it's interfell. Okay, yeah. yeah. Such guys, Omega, Interfell. This is the time now this will come out to help you because one man cannot help the situation. That is it. You cannot help it like bow life. There's a time you will go straight. There's a time you won't get even that support from friends. Yeah, exactly. Because also friends sometimes they say no, I've been supporting this guy for sometimes. Uh, now, when we leave that, this, this point of Bao life, you always call yourself Bao life. Who is Bao life? How is Bao life connected with this thing? You know, <laughs> okay, Bao life is just a code name. It is just a nickname. Like I told you, uh, my name is Georgia Joel. Uh, Georgia Joel. My father is a new lamb, George. Bao life is a code name. It's just a platform name I got on a social media. You know, you have been to you and different crusade. And bow means bow. You know Kijaluo. Unajua bow. The cross. The cross. And live, you know, it is something how we are live now. You know we are live now. <laughs> <laughs> you know we are live. So it is something practical. So there was time I went to pray on the mountain of Abendo. And I was asking God, give me revelation to preach your word. So the revelation I got came from the cross. Amen? Amen. Came from the cross. And I can remember the vision very well. It was 2004. So from there, uh, because I don't want to go deep into it, when I was praying and fasting, I saw a vision of Jesus when almost after on the fifth day, I was so tired and when I saw the vision, it is like I'm talking to you, he came to me. I did not even utter any word, he did not even speak. But he was so, uh, and I saw him, I saw him like I'm seeing you, his hand, the wounds and what. And immediately within a twinkle of an eye he left. And what he left was the cross, that cross he carried, he left there. Uh, so when I became back, or oh, when I woke up and came back on my senses, I was like, so how can Jesus come to me here? Nah, owe na mana bao, owe na go mana live, something like that. Yani ameni wache tu musalaba hivi. So when I came from the mountain, I began to preach the old rugged cross, which is bow and alive. So, yes, today you know why Bao Life, the explanation of Bao Life. Bao Life is about the old rugged cross. It means my gospel, the gospel I'm preaching, I'm not preaching about prosperity, I'm not preaching about of, of sin, of, I'm not preaching about whatever. What I'm preaching is the old rugged cross. It starts from the cross and ends at the cross. Mosalaba only. It start from the cross and end at the cross. Yeah. And the Bible say everything. He took away everything. Yes. And nailed it on the, the cross. So that is where I'm dwelling. So 
if you will be or you have been in my crusade all i know all i know to talk about all i can speak about is bow musalaba we have been to it because that was the vision you get yeah. when you are fasting yeah so that was the call that was the call so if you tell somebody even now if you go to street if you go to nairobi or mombasa and you say bow live they will say you are talking about anyol and I'm so happy you are preaching even to the street boys because they need to know the cross. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Before I give them food, I have to minister about life for them and tell them what the love that Jesus showed them on the cross because they are also human beings. Because Jesus died for them too. Yeah. So uh, uh, as we are coming to the end of the show, how can somebody get you? How can somebody support you on which ground? social media for number how can they get by life to help by life stand with the streets boys you can you can tell them in the first camera okay friends i know you know me very well you can get my number i can give you my number is 0713 54 10 10 if you call that number anytime you will get me another number is 07 Zero seven seven eight eight six twenty one fifty nine. That is also my number. Facebook. Facebook. I have two official Facebook account. Go to Facebook and search George Anyol. You will get me. Go to Facebook and fire and search Baulive Anyol. You will get me. Mm. Do you have Instagram? Instagram is George Anyol. Yes, and, and some people will get you because this thing will be watch when they send outside the Kenya. Yeah, email. Okay, let me give. I don't know. My okay, email. no, we'll give them. Maybe we'll put it in the uh, screens. So, the, the the this last question I want to ask: How do you see yourself in two years to come with supporting these boys, with supporting the street boys? In two years to come, what plan do you have with them? In two years to come, my big agenda or my big prayer agenda is that I'm trusting God. You know, we are serving a God of gold and silver. If God can give me a breakthrough in whatever means in most, because God is a miracle God. Paul, uh, I'm seeing a rehabilitation center for the boys. I'm seeing an hospital where I will be dealing with the street boys their sickness, their condition. I'm seeing an orphanage where I will be taking care of their needs, their daily needs. Rehabilitation center. I'm seeing a school whereby I will only employ teachers to bring these guys up because some of them are talented. I have, I have like four of them who can sing can can draw you the way you are can sing a gospel song can sing whatever song yes so that is where it is my prayer that god in coming two years i'm seeing that it is my prayer it is my agenda it is what i'm telling god every now and then amen so i think Guys, we need to support the street boys with the little you have because you started with around 1,000 buying food, beans and rice. Today you are thinking of big dreams. And when we started something, we just started little. So today we are hosting Bao Life, not to promote Bao, but we are talking about the street boys. So that you can be, your heart, can talk to your heart about the street boys. Because people are forgetting them. So I want to give you the last chance and tell the people you can tell them bye or pray with them as we end the show. Amen. Now, I welcome you to our church service. Uh, we are working with uh, Bishop George Barak, EHF. Uh, the platform is about life and I'm under EHF. If you come to Yellow Bridge, we will pray with you there. Visit us anytime. God bless Bishop. I just want to thank some of my friends. They are so dear. Or oh, someone like oh, Joe Monday. That is a man and a half. 
someone like Reverend Moses or Reverend uh, Morris, director mm. of Mana Ministry, the one, there are guys who have pushed me. Uh, my Mtotomisa, I have, you know, Pope must have a Mtotomisa. Pope has no kind of Mtotomisa. I have Mtotomisa Abbasiyang, mm. a very good friend with advice. I have Migosi Wood, uh, Wood Kuluma Randiga, a very good friend. Lots and lots of friends have stood by me. I can't mention all of them. Mm. But they are friends. My friend, they are friends. Mm. This program to reach where I am today, here today, they have pushed me. I could have left and uh, I could have left the program a long time ago. But the friends have backed me up. Mm. Because, you know, feeding 100 and Paul, well, feeding 100 and something kids is not a joke. I need like almost 15,000 every weekend. And I don't know where that money is coming from. But when it reaches weekend, like going this coming weekend, friends are just sending money and my wife is there to cook. So I just want to thank Judith and you. The church members has been awesome. My church, the church members where I pray, they have been so, so supportive. And God bless them so much. So it is just like that. Let us gang up. It is not a one-man guitar. We can play it all. The tune, I cannot play this tune one man. Mm -hmm. If I can tell you that this thing I can, it, I will do it alone, then I will be lying. This thing, we have to do it. And if there is any connection I can get through the government office, MCU's office, I will enter. Mm -hmm. And if there is any way I can meet Governor Nyongo and whoever the MCA, I can sit them down and give them the plea of these kids. These kids can be managed. These kids can be helped. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, was, that was by life. You are talking about the street boys. Thank you so much for your time. And may God bless you. Thank you so much for the friends who are supporting by life. I know Reverend Morris, Chien, Morris, Mana Ministry Director. Yeah. I also know Bishop Amonde. Good man, and also who about uh, if you call him, you are no, the Tomisa, the Basi, the young, the young guy that with, with heart. Yeah. So, thanks so much, friends, and other friends. God bless you so much. We thank you for your time. May you have a good night. Tuning to GMTV station 42.